Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam and today we're gonna, this is just gonna be a quick video because I wanted to let you know what I did um, with this Potensic A20 micro uh, quadcopter here. I added a little camera and this is a, what is this? This is an AKK A1 Mini, it says on the box. Uh, I have had this camera for a little while, so I will, uh, but I'll leave a link to this one or its equivalent uh, in the description below. And this is a little miniature, uh, it has a camera and a video transmitter all in one. And that's pretty neat. And it's very, very small. And uh, this quadcopter will actually carry this. So that is, uh, that's pretty cool. And I was trying to figure out how to wire this thing up. I was like, man, I, you know, I gotta, I, 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 you know, took everything apart and I uh, broke it all down and I desoldered some stuff and I soldered it back and put it back together. And I realized that the simplest thing to do is to just use the little charging port because that hooks up directly to the battery. So um, I actually, this connector, I actually uh, made, I, I took a larger connector and then just kind of chopped off the other sections so that it would fit in here. But I'm pretty sure that the actual, um, the standard connector that comes with this little uh, video transmitter would fit. I'm pretty sure that would, it would it's made to fit that kind of uh, connector. And you just plug it in right here and it comes on just like that. So this way, um, now of course it does, you know, suck the battery um, a bit more, but uh, this way you can, uh, when you want to fly, you just turn on your quadcopter here and then you can just plug in your um, camera and then there you go. Then you've got video and you've got your quadcopter working. Right now it's low battery because I've been flying it a lot. And then to actually mount it on there, I just decided to use this uh, this foam adhesive tape. Um, and it works okay. It kind of falls off sometimes, but actually now it's on it's on pretty darn good now that it's been on there for a little while. So that's probably just the simplest way to do it. And it really it's it's a lot of fun. You can have a fun brief flights because you don't you don't get a whole lot of flight time but it is actually quite fun and actually handles uh fairly smoothly of course this is you know you don't have a um you don't have a full uh throttle control because this does try to do altitude hold for you um, but you can kind of work your way around it and still fly around and have a good time in fact here's some flight footage um, that I took uh, just flying around the garage and that large silver thing is an airplane in case you were wondering uh, It's a Zenith 750 cruiser that my dad and I are building in our garage and uh, So yeah, you can have a you can have a great time flying around and it's really pretty easy I mean theoretically or actually not theoretically actually you could um, if you already have one of these quadcopters you could buy one of these little uh, miniature or you know micro video transmitter all-in-one units uh, camera video transmitter and um, and then just stick it on here and I'm like I said I think the connector that comes with it and then if you get you what you could do is actually get one of these little um, these little FPV receiver monitor deals and I'll be reviewing this review reviewing <clears throat> and I'll be reviewing this uh, this monitor in a, a, a little bit here once I play around with it some more don't go out and buy this just yet this is the ready to sky it's like forty dollars on Amazon. It's like a four point three inch screen. Um, has some uh, quality control issues, but anyway, just to give you an example here, uh, you could plug this in right here. Plug in the video transmitter, and then what? Look at that. Then we've got video, and so that's that's what it looks like when you're flying around, as you can see in the flight footage as well. So that's just super neat. It's just uh, if you've never flown FPV before, you could um, you know get a monitor like this, or or one of those monitors that just connects to your phone, or it's not a monitor. It connects. It's a receiver, and it connects to your phone, and then it uses your phone as a monitor. I think Eashin makes them and other people make them. Um, I think you can get them for around $30 on Amazon. So you're talking, you know, maybe $45, $50 to actually be able to, you know, kind of start flying around uh, FPV. Well, no, you are flying around FPV. It's just n not necessarily the most ideal craft for that uh, for that purpose, but you uh, you could do it. Well, there you go, everybody. That is how you can turn your little micro quadcopter into a little bit of a FPV flying machine. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.